Hey yo, Zenpuck here. Another day, another day not working for the man. It's Saturday, one of those days that everybody appreciates. Except for me, every day is Saturday, so there it is. Today the question comes from uh, my wifey again. She asked this, this question. Is the Chinese language that hard? That's an excellent question. Uh, let me answer it very quickly. The answer is no. No, it's not. Of course, I will go into a little bit of depth about why I think that's the case, right? Well, for one thing, um, you know, people look at Chinese and they think it's hard because it sounds different. That's true, it definitely sounds different. So, for those of you who come from an alphabetized language, it both sounds and looks rather different, right? On the audible front, if you're not used to a tonal language, that part is probably the most different than you can imagine, right? You need to learn uh, how to modulate each syllable in different tones, and that's really, really strange for Americans outside of the context of uh, singing. In fact, that's how my my wife actually looks at it. She, she says, oh, this is, you know, it sounds like singing. Well, maybe Chinese sounds like singing to her, but English sounds like singing to me. I mean, it just sounds different, right? So, audibly, yes, it sounds different. Visually, you know, Chinese has characters rather than, you know, letters that make up a word. That's also different, right? So, so far, it seems like I'm arguing against myself, right? It does seem hard, right? Audibly, it's different. Visibly, it's different. So, why isn't it? hard well for one thing if you do come from a latin or germanic language uh, romance languages in general um there's less prepositions all right I, I know this is the case because my my own mother who uh, also speaks english mm, sort of she misses lots of lots of prepositions why because it doesn't exist in chinese right as a relatively old person what she's doing is She's thinking of the sentence in Chinese first, and then translating it on the fly. And that doesn't work for things like prepositions, which really doesn't, you know, just has less of a role in Chinese. And the other thing, especially if, you've, if you're used to learning things like Spanish or French or Italian, is that there's no conjugation in, uh, in Chinese, and that makes things a lot simpler, right? Tenses are also something that's relatively easily handled, mostly contextually. Uh, there's no difference between how you say I or me. Uh, there's no, like, there's like a universal word for possessive, so you don't have to really learn another set of words for like I, me, or mine, right? So, so the possessive is common amongst all uh, subject matters, for instance. These are things that, you know, my, my wife who's learning Chinese has mentioned to me when she's like, oh, it's not that bad. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you first start learning it, it's a big leap um, in, in a different direction, right? I imagine that's the same thing as if you're learning a language with a completely different alphabet, like, you know, like Russian or, 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 or Arabic, right? The difference is, I mean, I, I don't know enough about those languages, but the difference to me is like Chinese... Honestly, you could get by conversationally with like a thousand characters, right? And, and you might think that's a, that's a ton of things to memorize. That's true. It's hard memorization. You're not going to be able to, you know, uh, glean a lot from your historical language roots if you come from a Western language, right? But honestly, you know, a thousand specific separate words for conversational is not a lot. Uh, it's not a lot compared to how many English words you would need to know uh, to be conversational in in English. So, uh, if any of you are out there thinking about like, oh, should I, you know, try to pick up Chinese, or if you feel like I shouldn't because it's too hard, just understand languages are just different, right? I think it's it's fantastic for opening up your brain to a different way of thinking. But Chinese specifically, um, I don't think it's particularly hard outside of the strangeness of it. It's, it's, it's definitely different than most alphabetized languages, but not hard. Cool. 
Have a good night and have a good weekend.